right guys, I'm Chris Bowden and you're not. Welcome to the Geek Group where today we are doing a little forum interaction mojo with this. This is a quantum Bigfoot. Now this is a hard drive, like a regular, you know, mounted in a computer hard drive. These were a thing for a few years. It was a while ago. And the idea was like, I don't know, fitting hard drives into thinner space or something about access times. I really, I don't know. I mean, it's old enough it's IDE. But this is a hard drive that's designed to mount in a five and a quarter slot instead of the typical three and a half. So it's a lot wider than a regular hard drive, but thinner. And they were talking about these in the forums and they were like, oh my God, I never saw one of those before. I've never, it's so, ah, because it's, you know, the hard drive that thought outside the box. So what we're going to do, because they are so rare, because they are so unusual, and because nobody's ever seen one, is of course we're going to destroy it and take it apart in little tiny pieces. So we're going to take it apart. And we've got our overhead camera here zoomed way in so you can read the label. There's your label. Everything you ever wanted to know. You can pause the video right now if you're that anal and Google all this information and find out anything you want to know. So, yeah. All right. Now it is a 5.25 series Bigfoot TX drive. And it tells us, oh, it's 12 gigs right there. You can see 12 gigs max. So it'll do like a four gig, a six gig, an eight gig, and a 12 gig, depending on what flavor you have it set up for. Remember the days when you had to set jumpers and stuff because they'd only, you had the, the hard drive size barriers? Those were neat. I'm really happy to be past that. I don't even know what the limit is nowadays for a hard drive because I mean, our biggest are two terabytes. So yeah, but with 64-bit addressing schemes, it's probably, I, I know with like, Going to uh, IPv6, they've, they've got enough IP addresses now where you can do something insane like give an IP address to every particle in the universe or something just maddeningly huge like that. Um, but I, I really don't know what the, the maximum theoretical hard drive limit is. It's really big. It's bigger than we have. Arr! Oh, of course I strip one out. All right. This has... The green gunge, which you'll come across every now and then, which is like a, it's like Loctite, basically, but it's not that good. It's like a really wimpy Loctite. Loctite is a adhesive that you put on mechanical fasteners, like nuts and bolts and stuff, in order to get them to, it prevents from like vibration and stuff from them working themselves loose. And it can be kind of hard to get some off with lower quality screwdrivers. So we start by taking off the board here. We've got the controller board, which is just pressure tabs in place. You can see there's there's like little solder pads. That's it. It's pressure tabs, which is really cool. It makes this drive very hackable for certain stuff. But there's a controller board, which is very easy to swap out. And you can see the chip IDs. Here, we'll turn it so you can read it. There's your chip IDs made by Quantum. So, all right, now let's open into the main part. Gonna grab a bigger screwdriver. Give me a number two. And dude once said, give me a lever big enough and I will move the world. I'm pretty sure if you give me a number two screwdriver, I can disassemble the planet. Now these screws are kind of cool in that if you look at them, there's a little dot. See the dot on the side of the Phillips head? Now that means something. It's a, a specific indicator for a drive. I can't remember the name of it. It's not Posit Drive. It's a different one. Um, but I'll put a link to it here. I'll, I'll look it up on Wikipedia, and I'll see that it goes in the video. But it's not, it's not a regular Phillips head. It's something a little bit different. So you can hear the uh, little Loctite break on these. You just you got to push down a little bit, and it, I like that, and it just pop. You just want to make sure you don't strip it. A good screwdriver technique that if you if you watch a lot of the disassembly videos that we do, you'll see me use is uh, I'm right-handed in my screwdriver use, and apparently I hold a screwdriver like a chopstick. Too. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but put it in there, and this is good for really fast disassembly. Thumb on top like that, and like there's the oomph just like that to pop it. But I actually hold a screwdriver. I just steady it from the top. I'm spinning it at the shaft because the shaft is a much narrower diameter, so you can move it a lot faster. And if you're just like that, you, you can get like two-handed motion in there. But I, I, I spin the shaft too. Do not do this if you're working on, you know, 
high voltage electrical stuff and whatnot because touching the shaft can mess it up. Now that, that screw is pretty stripped out there and that's why I thought of the dot thing because it's, it's a little bit different. There's a lot of play in it, so. Come on. I need to not move the thing. Ah, got it. Okay, there we go. I was nervous there for a minute. That one's really stripped out. So you can see it's it's pretty chewed up. All right, so there's our screws. We got those out of the way. And we're gonna see what's under the seals. I'll just use this screwdriver to pop the seals. Oh, there we voided the warranty. Now, this is an older drive. I wish I could find a year on this. I don't see any kind of year indicator. There might be, maybe somebody else out there can find it. There's the numbers on it. Maybe there's a year code somewhere. I don't, I don't see anything. The, somebody, maybe at Quantum or something, it's, it's probably an eight gig drive. So, it says eight to 12 on here, but I don't know, when, we were do, when were we doing eight gig drives? It's a long time ago. We'll just, you know, take Moore's law and goes backwards. We're like, oh, we're at two terabytes now, and yeah. All right, so we've got a little Phillips head here under this seal, and we've got, that'll be the spindle there. If you, if you look at it, it's obvious that that's going to be your spindle, and that's going to be your, uh, your main rotor hub thing, but this will be the armature spindle, and this will be the main spindle. So I think we have to take those off before we take cover off. Well, no, in a hurry. Hmm. Don't know. We got another little one down here too, which is easy to miss. I'll take that one off. It's like perfectly sized for that screwdriver, so it's nice to get a little one. All right, there's a lot of little screws here, easy to miss. So I'll zoom around it and make sure we don't miss anything. All right, now we'll just pop this in here. And yeah, and you have flathead for that. I think that's attached on there pretty good. I think I still got to take that spindle off. Yep. All right. So it's time for Gerber Ninja. Now we've got to get that off there. And it's a surround. There's the, the nut around the outside, which is a lock nut for the pin down the inside. So I'm just going to loosen that nut. Take that right off, and the pin can stay right there, and I th the pin should, fit. I should be able to lift the top off and the hole will go right through. Put my Gerber away. Let's pop this open. And I'm just I'm putting a screwdriver in on the edge here, and you just walk that groove down. You, you, you lever it up, and put your thumb in, and hold a thumb break for all you magicians out there, and then go down here and pop that open. And there you go, it's open. Now we've got on the lid, really serious black seal everywhere. Looks like that. And uh, just a, it's a rubber seal, just a big gasket. Now here we've got our drive platter. And if you look closely, you can see the camera, <laughs> the overhead camera in the reflection. It's actually focusing on the wood and stuff. Oh, there we go. Hi, welcome back. There, see? There's, there's our drive, but it's so clean that if I move off to the reflective surface, well, there you go, it gets the wood and focuses on the camera, which is actually about three feet away. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, let's, let's get back. Come on, there we go. Okay, autofocus hell. This is my world. So there's our spindle, which is really big and uh, a sizable armature assembly. Not armature, I mean, look, compared to my finger. See, it's, it's pretty big. Um, but it's, it's a regular magnet armature assembly like we've seen a million times. It's really nothing that unusual. I'm gonna leave it like this because I wanna do a follow-up video on this one. Uh, I mean, sure, we could tear it down all the way, but you've seen me take hard drives apart before. I wanna do something cool with this because it's so big. I want to do a hard drive speaker out of this, and just because of the, the large dimensions of this one, we'll make this into a subwoofer. So we'll take two other drives and make those into satellite speakers, and we'll make this one into a subwoofer. Um, I'll get a, a speaker set 
like an amplified speaker set and we'll take that apart and do it with this and we'll do a video on that and it'll be fun. So because of that, I'm going to stop at this point and we'll come back to this particular video later. But there is, there's your look at the inside of a quantum Bigfoot drive. It's pretty much just like a regular hard drive, just shorter and fatter. So think of it as the short, fat version of a hard drive. It's, it's like it's the Chicago chick of a, of a regular hard drive. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit thicker. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. All you people in Chicago can send your hate mail to info at thegeekgroup.org um, because, man, that's going to be fun to read. I've dated three different girls from the Chicago area. So I've paid my dues. You guys have fun. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.